I am back with best-selling author Tony Robbins, who wants to help you make 2015 your best year ever. Now, we're uh, just over a week into the new year, and how many of you have made a resolution? <laughs> That's everybody. Now, stats show that 25% of you have already broken your resolution. <laughs> so, but even worse, uh, this time next year, 92% of you will have failed. But it doesn't have to be your That's story, right. though. Yeah. All right, Tony and I are gonna be sharing our top strategies for keeping the two most common New Year's resolutions, losing weight and saving money. I'm in on both of those with you, so don't feel out there by yourself. <laughs> Let's start with the number one resolution, losing weight. Okay, where's Dorothy? Okay, Dorothy, tell us about your resolution to lose weight. My resolution is to lose, drop, get rid of 60 pounds off my body in 2015 by my birthday, which is December 31st. And I historically have made this resolution year after year. And I'm one of those 92%. And it really makes me sad to think that I don't get there. I don't honor my body the way I want to. And um, I want to know what the, the strategies and how do I stay committed when I self-sabotage myself. First of all, there's three things that help you to break through in any area of your life, whether it's your finances or it's your body or anything. And you're looking for the breakthrough in the form of a strategy, and there are many. Second thing that creates a breakthrough is your story. And the truth of the matter is, you don't just self-sabotage, you try to meet your needs. You probably get really uncomfortable by stresses in your life, and food is the one way you know to get comfortable that works, that's convenient, it's available anywhere. Yeah. And you probably have people around you that love you and accept you the way you are. They're the right people for your life, wrong person to go lose weight with. You get somebody who does it every day, seven days a week, they're not gonna listen, they're gonna get your butt out here. So you need a better strategy, you need a better story. It's not sabotage, it's just comfort. And what'll get you out of it is a new state. You, you don't overeat all the time. You overeat when you get in a certain state. What emotions make you overeat? You tell me. What do you feel when you go to overeat? Boredom. Boredom. What else? Mm. Sadness. Sadness. What else? Hurt. Hurt. So, boredom, sadness, hurt. And how much of those that happen in your life? Uh, pretty often. Yes, I can feel that. Yeah. So, I'd like to invite you to come to one of my seminars as my guest, and let's see you shift that habit of emotion, because those emotional habits, if you weren't, a lot of people stop eating and then they start smoking or vice versa. They stop smoking and that's the way to go and they start eating. Mm -hmm. Because you're still trying to meet a need. I wanna show you maybe some better ways to meet the need. And let's not just do some silly resolution. Let's get a real transformation of where you live because everybody has an emotional home. It's a habit and you go back there and I'd like to have you upgrade your home and then your body will just come with it. Thank you. How's that sound? Wanna awesome. take me up on it? Yeah. You gotta do it. You're wow, that's pretty good. Okay, well, folks, here's the second most popular resolution, is saving money. Where's Nora? Right here. Okay, oh, okay. So, uh, Nora, tell us about your resolution to save money. Um, I'm 26 years old, and I'm part of this epidemic of graduating out of college with a debt that I know I won't be able to repay within the next 20 years. I'm actually- okay, hold, hold on one second. <laughs> if I may, I'm not being disrespectful. <laughs> From now on, I want all of you, if you want to give yourself a gift, listen for the stories we tell ourselves. There's a man who said once, tell a lie big enough, loud enough, and long enough, sooner or later people will believe it. His name was Hitler. <laughs> and we are Hitler with ourselves. So I know what you're telling me is true, that you have a huge debt and you're not sure how to pay it off. But telling yourself I'm part of an epidemic also makes it, it's not me, it's the epidemic, and I don't have control. And the more we send those messages to ourselves, that story, the answer could be right in front of you and you won't see it. So I know this does not come from a negative place and I'm not correcting you, not but if you want coaching, if you're willing, let me, since I'm already assuming you will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I want you to catch yourself because mm -hmm. everybody around you will agree with you. Well, my goal this year is to be, well, to learn how to be financially free. Do you have any advice for me this year? Yes, I do. I interviewed Warren Buffett and you asked him, how'd you get rich? He said three things. I lived in America where there's opportunity. I had good genes, so I lived a long time and compound interest. Compound interest, I know you've all heard of, and you probably know what it is. Knowing what it is and doing it are two different things. I'll give you an example. There's a man who went to work for UPS. His name is Theodore Johnson. At, he never made more than $14,000 a year in annual income, never more than $14,000. And at 70, he was worth $70 million. 
How is that humanly possible? It's very simple. He made a personal tax for his future and took 20% of his money and had it go straight where he never saw it, straight into an investment account. And it compounded over 50 years to more $70 million. If you decide just one less pizza a week or one less meal out a week and you had a pizza instead one time or something else, save $40 a week. And if that's all you did and you invest it the way I'll show you, over a lifetime, that's a half a million dollars. And you say, how would I ever have a half a million dollars? Give up one meal. So there's lots of solutions. You got to get out of the story that it's going to be this way. It's not going to be this way. <laughs> All right? Great job, man. <laughs> you know, uh, this book right here, from what I've learned from Tony today, it can be a game changer right here, folks. You can really get your finances straightened out in 2015. You got to learn from rich people. Rich people tell you something, you don't... Look, he lived in a car. He, he ain't always had this book. <laughs> Come on, you don't even live in a car. You starting with a better shot than he got. You got a job. He didn't have anything. I think it's great. This is the book. It's called Tony Robbins Money, Master the Game. I want to say thanks. Tony, I'm telling you, man, you've been a game changer for me. Thank you, brother. Love you, man. Love you, brother. Thanks to all my guests and a big thanks to uh, Tony Robbins. Uh, his latest book, Money Master the Game, is available now. And everybody in the audience, you're going home with a copy today. We'll be right back, folks.